Great. Tombic and BB starting now, Greg. What do you mean Tombic and today's new? I said Tombic and BB. What? The Minister of Works and BB? What's going on? Who said the Minister of Works? I think you're a little tired. No, sir. I'm absolutely fabulous. Really? I've never heard that before. I don't know. What do you mean? How do I know? In Holland, the tulips they grow are absolutely fabulous. What? What do you mean, what? All day you've been acting strangely. You're the strange one. I haven't said anything strange. I've been talking sense. How's the weather? How's the weather? The climate doesn't change in space. I know that. In that case, tomorrow's weather will be cloudy with a little rain is nonsense. Here we go. I'm Tombic. And I'm Baby. Step back in your seats like a queen bee on her throne and enjoy the show. This week, Puzzlesaurus has some questions on beautiful as violets for you all. I don't like that Puzzlesaurus at all, Tombic. He's always being rude to our friends. Don't forget that Puzzlesaurus is watching this at the moment. Watching it or not, it's true what I'm saying. Why are you talking like that, BB? He's prepared all the questions for our flower chums. The missing piece, cube challenge, who's the artist, what is it, sports rules, it's impossible, traffic signs, spot the differences, they're all fabulous. So what are we waiting for? Let's start the show. Honey, sweet idea, BB. Going to enjoy yourselves, eh? Think you know all the answers to my questions? I'm not your average dinosaur, though. I'm Puzzlesaurus. <laughs> Nobody measures up to me. I'm sure you won't know any questions. One day I'm going to bring the whole puzzle world to its knees. <laughs> yes, my cradles, it's time for the picture box. A little later you'll see a turning cube on screen. There's six sides on the cube, and each side has a different picture on it. Watch carefully, because when the cube stops, you have to pick which picture's on the other side. Here we go! Okay, now try and remember, kids, which picture's on the other side of the bulldozer. Would you like us to help you by going through the pictures again? Okay, here goes. I'll say them. Besides the bulldozer, there was a mouse, a cat, a giraffe, a flower, and an iron. I wonder which one was behind the bulldozer. I'm sure you couldn't write many words in a minute. <laughs> Do you know the best type is to type 200 words in one minute? Okay, friends, now we've got to find the piece that's missing. There will be a puzzle shown on screen, but there's a piece missing. After that, four other pieces will appear on screen. You have to decide which piece fits the puzzle. Let's go! <laughs> So did you find which of these four is the missing piece? Let's watch the moving pieces. Which is the missing? 
did it. Today, I haven't understood half of what you've been saying. It's not my fault. Nobody understands what I'm saying. Everyone's saying things to make me confused. It's enough that I've got this strange ringing going on. Yes, that would make it difficult for you. I think I understand now. Your radio signals are mixed up. Oh, yes, that's possible. Only half of what you say comes out, and you can only hear half of what is being said. No wonder. I can't understand anything. I can't think. It's terrible. I'm sure it must be a short circuit somewhere. Maybe it's oxidized. We'll have to look at all my models, one by one then. Are you better now? I understood all of what you just said. It must be that sometimes our sound wave frequencies coincide. What's on the commercial, Chatterpad? Shh, it started. I want to listen to it. I'll be quiet. Grey Crow's next album's in the shops. Grey Crow's put out a cassette. Pigs might fly. Chatterpad, I'm very tired. All this information is making me crazy. I'm going to size up. Hey, look. Tom Bick and BB's commercial is on. Uh, I'm not gonna eat that. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's gonna throw us to the garbage. Mm, don't get food. Don't eat them. Eat them. Don't turn them into energy. I think it's about time someone painted my portrait in honor of my contribution to the world of puzzles. I've got a beautiful profile. They could paint me in front of my computer, making up the trickiest puzzles ever typed out. Then they could hang it in the Louvre. That would be lovely. <laughs> We've searched your whole body and nothing. More news. I don't want to know everything. Don't listen. Try and concentrate on something else. I'll try my best. We're approaching another planet. What? This week we're approaching the stock market. No, I said we're approaching another planet to collect rocks. What's the use of reporting what work we do? It's very important. You know best. We can't work like this. In Africa, elephants are disappearing day by day. The only remedy is to pull apart your radar. I've never heard anything like that before. The only thing that will save the elephants is to pull apart the cruel hunter. You're a cruel hunter? No! Yes, and now I'm pulling off your cruel radar antennae. My radar didn't hurt the elephants. It's time for What Is It? Puzzlesaurus has cut a picture into pieces and mixed them up. But I'm sure that you'll be able to guess what it is. Come on, let's show that Puzzlesaurus a thing or two. Did you find it? Was that too difficult for you? You can't beat me, you know. They were nothing. There's more difficult ones on the way. Coming soon are some questions about sport. You don't know anything about it. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I've got another great joke for you today. Everyone will think all your jokes are great if you talk like that. Ah, don't pay attention to him. He didn't like the others. Ah, here's the joke. Ah, I left my Walkman at home. Unfortunately, I must listen. You're not forced to fix it. If you want, you can go. Who do you think you're telling to go away? Who's paying the bill for this show? Ah, don't pay any attention, boys and girls. He is thinking of his own maker. Oh, come on. Let's have some fun. Tell your joke. Well, now they're funny. No, they aren't. I just enjoy making fun of you. Two men were traveling in the same train compartment. One of them took out a fish from his bag. Eating a fish from a bag? It was for uh, eating. What's a fish that can be eating doing in a bag? Well, that's the joke. The man separated the head and he ate a lovely fish. After that, he took out another fish. An aquarium bag? Please shut up. Our friends can't understand anything. Well, they aren't my friends. 
speak for yourself. A parrot can only be friends with another parrot. Let's not drag this out. The man took off the heads of ten fish. The man sitting opposite was very curious. He said he would sell the fish heads for dollar hundred because they give you brains. The man bought one. the joke, I won't tell it again. Okay, I'll be quiet. After he ate the head, he asked, one fish costs dollar ten. How can the head be dollar hundred? And he says, now nah, you're was. <laughs> Defective reason, yes. Now I'm comfortable. You can go back to your old life now, quiet and ignorant. I'm tired of knowledge. My head feels very heavy. Well, what will you do with all that knowledge? I'm going to empty my hard disks into space and the universe will know about elephants at the stock market. Dog-eating monsters could learn about the stock market. Good idea, isn't it? I don't know. What shall I do? Stay here. Will I be okay? Of course. I'll be okay then. Shut up, Ant. Oh, uh, yes, you're right. If there's something you don't know, you can ask me. Okay. For example... Elephants and the stock market. How do you know? Just a wild guess. Ah, good guess. Let's watch Tom Big. I'll know all the answers... for everything. Only elephants and the stock market. questions about tennis. Tennis can be played both indoors and outdoors. It is the most popular sport in the world. Tennis is played with a racket which is used to hit a ball over a net and points are scored. Tennis can be played with one or two players each side of the net. To start the game one player must serve the ball. There are two other main strokes in tennis. Do you know what they are? The biggest flowering plant in the world is the Chinese wisteria. Its branches grow as long as 150 meters and weighs as much as 50 elephants. you ever seen 50 elephants together? Dr. McCool thinks he's the only scientist. Of course, he's wrong. I'm the best scientist around here. I prepare the best puzzles. Have you ever seen one of his puzzles? No, you haven't. What use is his knowledge? Huh? Here is our impossible question. Do you know limbo dancing? In limbo, you have to pass under a very low bar. If you can pass under the bar, you try a lower height. Some people can do it very well. Do you think you can guess the lowest level of the bar under which a person had passed successfully? Can you imagine how low this bar was? Is your radar okay? No need to shout! I didn't shout. Robots don't shout. Our volume is as high as this. Enough! Enough? Shush! What? Everything's so loud, enough! Enough said. Shush! Okay, I'm shushing. I must have knocked the input level button when my radar was being put in. Come here, I'll no check. No way! Why? You're hopeless! True, you know best. Probably. on the floor. If you don't want to look like this penguin. Holland pals, we're coming up to a traffic sign. When we get to it, we'll ask you if you know what it means. But Puzzlesaurus has tried to trick you with three answers, of which only one is correct. You don't know this traffic sign, but to help you, I've provided three choices. I don't think you'll be able to get the right one, though. One, don't wear horseshoes in here. Two, please don't go underneath the magnet. Three, no U-turn. Could you find it? I don't think you could. Too difficult for you, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> Now we're going to watch a film. But watch very carefully. When it's over, we'll watch it again. 
but the second time there'll be three small differences. Let's watch and see if we can find them. Let's go! I'm sure you noticed every detail. Now here's the second film. See if you can spot three different things. Could you find them? Of course they could. Our friends are bright little buttons. Later, we'll show you the answers. But before we do, direct from the world of insects shooting to the top of the charts, is our favourite band, the Buggies. With their next hit, it's called Silence. <sighs> Bugs like you like Buggies like this. What happened to, to me and you when the world around us? What have we done to shake the earth and turn me to us? How can I keep quiet today? I should tell on the right stand and all the way. Where is my blue? Where is my green? Where is my sunshine? Where are the birds? Where are the trees? Where have the stars Challenge. 
You had to guess which picture was behind the bulldozer. Was it a mouse, a giraffe, a buzz, an iron, or a cat? The correct answer was the cat. Okay, friends. One of our puzzles was for you to find the piece that was missing. You had to choose the correct one from four pieces on screen. Yes, the third one was the correct piece. What's that then? Can you get it? the three main tennis strokes? They are the serve, the backhand and the forehand. A game begins with a serve. Did you know if a player hits the ball out of court, the other player scores points? Tennis is played all over the world by professionals and amateurs. Can you imagine how low this bar was? Dennis Watson, alias King Limbo, passed under a bar that was just six inches. That's 15 centimeters off the floor. In Kent, WA, on March 2nd, 1991. Wow! If you are aware of your traffic signs, it makes the roads a safer place to travel on. Did you get the one we showed you? If you like, Puzzlosaurus will show you the other choices again. OK, Puzzlosaurus. Here are the choices. One, don't wear horseshoes in here. Two, please don't go underneath the magnet. Three, no U-turn. Could you find it? The correct answer was no U-turn. One of our questions we had for you was about the two films. Could you see the three differences? Let's have a look. Here is the second one. And here are the differences. Oh, I'm very angry. How did you know the answer to my puzzles? You cheated, that's what it was. Well, you won't cheat next time, because next program, I'm going to make some cheat proof puzzles. They'll be so hard to get, the whole puzzle world will tremble when they see the Puzzlesaurus coming. They'll say, here comes that nasty, difficult puzzle maker. Oh, yes, they will. I'll be the king, I will. <laughs> Now I'm fine, but we missed the program. Because of you. Because of us. Oh, yes. Our radio waves were confused, and we both know a lot about elephants. I know more than you do. Really? If you want, we can see who knows more. Elephants are the largest living land animals. OK, OK, don't start. There are only two surviving species, both endangered or nearly so, the African and the Indian. OK, so you know more than me. The African elephant is the larger of the two. A male may stand up to 3.5 meters high and weigh as much as six tons. Enough! <laughs> What will it take to stop you, okay? You know more about elephants than I do. Of course I know more. I know more about everything. They don't make models like you anymore. You've been superseded. Quite now. There's some information on elephants on the hard disk, but what do you know about the stock market? I'm not saying what I know about that. Global economics are too confusing. It's better not to say anything. We've come to the end of our show, honey buns. In our next program, we've got some even better puzzles to challenge you with. Good luck, kids! Don't forget, a life without puzzles is like a bee without honey. Have a honey sweet day. Honey sweet!